Okay, we're back with part two. Sorry about that. I didn't mean to make it a part two, but it's that's that's the worst part of getting this to work is uh, the first time you get those uh, those caps in there. As you can see, they still fit. They're going to continue to fit real nice and tight. That's why the whole thing works. Oh, there it goes. Okay. So let's take this bottom off and we'll, we'll redo it. Once you've got it on there, to, it seems to go back a little bit easier. Just kind of press it, get it on there, see it seated nice and tight all the way around. Then you get your top piece, get it started in there. I kind of pry out with my thumbnail a little bit, work it into there, there now we're snapped in. See it's not too tough. It's just that initial initial time it's getting it stretched out so it all fits in there. And as you can see, see the o-rings are all smooshed out nice and flat. It fits really nice and tight. Okay, now we're, we're almost there. Just squeeze it kind of hard and that'll make the Top pop off. Let's uh, dry out the last of that water that was in there. Okay, we got that. Now I'm gonna fill it up with some juice. I have some RY4 from. Uh, vapor ring. I have it in a glass bottle with a dropper top. Let's go ahead and fill her all the way up. That's pretty close to full right there. Now, let's get our our lid back on there. It's easier to set it down on a table. Kind of do thing, just same thing, just kind of pry out around the edges. Keep putting pressure on it until you get the edge started. And then just smoosh it down in there. Maybe. There it went. Okay. There it is. Whoops. All assembled. <laughs> when you first put it together, all the uh, pressure to do shoots out through the bottom of the atomizer. Not a lot, just a little bit. You're, you're putting pressure in there. Okay. Now let's throw a drip tip on there. Blow it out, make sure it's clear. Let's also uh, throw a little bit of a couple of drops of primer in here. Three drops, how does that sound? Okay, we'll stick him on the Crowberry. We got the voltage set out. Let's check it. Ah. Four point three. That's not too bad. Nice flavor. Let's turn the AC off so it don't blow away all the vapor. Give her a squeeze.
There's working pretty good. Give her another squeeze. See the bubbles coming up there, filling it up. Decent amount of vapor. There's the, let's turn it up a little bit higher. Let's go to five volts. That's much better. Okay, it's working good. There's the do-it-yourself atomizer tank. And cost you, uh, if you've already got the tank, it doesn't cost you nothing for that. You already paid for it. Uh, I forgot what we say is about $3 for the tubing and $14 for the, the atomizer. Nice performer, works very well. So, go ahead and make yourself one up and enjoy. And uh, let me know any feedback, see how you like it, once you've tried. And uh, that's about all I got to say about that. Just a pretty simple little device there. If you can make any improvements on it. Oh, I did forget something. As you're squeezing on it, the first one I made, I, I made this cut real crooked. And it didn't fit up there very well. And my top cap kind of kept working off. And I, it wasn't a big deal. I just had to kind of put a little pressure and shove it back down there every time. I don't know if, if you'll have the same issues or not. That one I got cut straight, so it seems like it's fitting on there better. And you don't have to squeeze it very hard, just a, a slight squeeze will, will get the get the juice going in there. Okay, everybody. Keep on vaping.